Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial, this one covering local colorization. Uh, some people also call it the Sin City effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to desaturate the background here and leave these pumpkins in color. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the pumpkins. Luckily for you, I've already brought, done that. I'm just going to bring up the selection again. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to duplicate just the pumpkin part. Control C, Control V, copy, paste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate the background now. Adjust color, adjust hue and saturation, bring it all the way down. Now, that's a really easy way to do it. And now we can adjust the um, lighting levels, just improve the overall aesthetic of this. You can do the same things for this. Also, now that you have this on a separate background, you can do a whole variety of things here. You can blur it. You can do just about anything. Now that's an easy solution, but if you have a lot of um, color spread out through the picture and a quick selection won't work, I wouldn't recommend this. In fact, I would recommend this. If you want only a specific color here, we're going to use this one right here. What we're going to do is we're actually going to enhance, adjust color, and we're going to hit replace color. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select, um, start with the color, we're going to save the red here. We're going to bring the saturation all the way down. And then we're going to select the um, little eyedropper with the plus, and that's going to add to our sample. We can select the blue, select more blue, just keep selecting blue. You, want, you can actually increase the fuzziness. And here we go. All we have is the red left. This will work better if you have a very controlled color range, such as the red here. There's not a lot of variation within the red, and it's spread out, it's not all connected, and you don't really want to waste the time with masking it all out. This one I would recommend for if you want the true Sin City effect with um, small localized color all over the place. And that's two ways to do the same thing, essentially. This one, small areas of color. This one for bigger areas of color here, or objects that you want just in color. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.